we get paternal and maternal on these tours. We worry about you guys, and we are watching out for you. It's this thing, this group that we worry about. Even when you're individual, we're going to worry about you and make sure that you're okay. And you want that kind of community. You want that when you're going over. When was the last time an app worried about you? But what if you're going over individually? What do we do to, to help with that? Individual tours are usually designed for the guys who cannot make it for the group a tour for whatever reason. So you can always travel on your own, at your own leisure, you know, with your own convenience. You just let us know when you come and give us your list of ladies. Our staff is there, you know, our office staff is, you know, there's basically seven days a week for you. And if they're not in the office, you have your contact person, phone number, and you, you torture this person, you know, um, you know, 7 a.m. till, you know, even if you're somewhere at the restaurant with a woman, you don't feel comfortable, you know, the journalist talking talking earlier, you can always call and say, hey, Olga, there is something going on with this woman. Can you just help me? Or like, happened so many times on the tour to, you know, to Ukraine and just like, just call our stuff. Like, or I got this big restaurant bill or something else going on. We'll come and solve your problem for you, even if it's not a group tour, doesn't matter. Our staff is always there to help you, especially if it's emergency case, it's 24 seven. So you can call them anytime. And, and the same thing I talked about earlier applies with the individual introductions as well. I mean, these women are on our service. We know who they are. We have their, um, we know where they live. <laughs> we have their contact Well, we literally do, yes. Yeah, we, we have their addresses. Uh, in, uh, especially with Latin America, we do have contact information for their family members in case we can get a hold of her. She usually leaves a phone number like, okay, here's my sister or mom's phone number. You can also call them just to reach out to me. So we know the addresses, phone numbers, again, passports, all kind of information. And we know the women. I mean, many of our, of our office personnel interact with these women and they build relationships with these women. So these aren't just like total strangers for the most part. Maybe they don't know all the women as well as, as each one, right? They're going to know some better than others. But they have some kind of an interaction with these women. Unlike the apps. With the apps. The apps don't know anybody. I'm an app. I'm an app. I mean, how, do, how does an app know anybody? Right? It's yeah, and if something happens, well, God forbid, but if, you know, something happens, for example, you're supposed to talk to staff member at 6 o'clock, she calls you. Yeah, because you have a next date and you're not answering, you're not answering, you know, she's going to start calling your hotel and uh, they'll go knock on your room, make sure you know you're, you're alive. And, you know, so it's uh, somebody at least will, uh, you know, will be concerned pretty much right away. So if something happens, you will find you right away. I mean, we get paternal and maternal on these tours. We worry about you guys and we are watching out for you, you know, and other tour members, you you make friends with these people and they worry about you. So they're all, oh, yeah, he's okay, yeah, he got back. Everybody's fine, right? It's this thing, this group that we worry about. Even when you're individual, we're going to worry about you and make sure that you're okay. Um, and that's important. And you want that kind of community. You want that when you're going over. When was the last time an app worried about you, right? When was the last time an app, oh, wow, well, what's going on? It might tell you what your heartbeat is, but it doesn't really care, you know? But yeah, we care, okay? So just keep that in mind. And I'm telling you, it's just way safer. Again, whether it's us or someone else, don't do someone else. Don't do it. But whether it's us or someone else, yeah. When women join the service, again, this is not an app. This is a service that's been around for a long time. And we have a really good reputation in these cities because we've been there for so many years. They know who we are. They know all about a foreign affair. They, and they talk. These women talk amongst themselves, their friends and everybody. So, you know, most of them know what we're doing there and who we are. So when the women come in to join the service, they normally come in with the right idea of what this is about, what the intentions are, what we're trying to do, what we foster, what, you know, our beliefs are and things like that. So very rarely do we have women coming in trying to take advantage of the service, right? Trying to, you know, use it for something that it's not. What we do do is that we, again, build these relationships with the women. We talk with them. We treat them with respect. And they treat us with respect. And it goes that way. And if there ever is a problem, um, and again, from time to time, of course, there can be a problem with women and with men that use the site. And so when that happens, then we deal with it appropriately, uh, whatever that means. And sometimes that means removing the woman from the service or removing the man from the service. And, and we've had to do that um, over the years, obviously, as you would imagine with any site. Um, but for the most part, the vast, vast number of women and men, I will say, are using the service for the right, the right ideas and intentions. And so it really isn't a problem. 
Um, so keep that in mind when you go. Again, I don't think you're going to find any kind of those issues there when you go. And that's a big um, point of pride for me is that we do treat our guests like family when they come. We care about them. We take care of them. Let's see an app do that. You're not going to get an app to do that on those do-it-yourself things. But we do because we're real, you know, and, and well, it's true. And so they take really good care of you. And those guys really enjoyed all the special little things that you did. Of course, they go there with the expectation they're going to meet women. And of course, that happened, right? But that can happen in a lot of different ways. But the way we make it happen is special. And, and I think those guys really appreciate that. Remember what we talked about, about the do-it-yourself sites and the apps out there. So when you read these things in the papers and stuff, remember what they're talking about. It's not us. It's do-it-yourself apps. And it's not everybody in Colombia, right? So it's a very, very, very small little section of people that just want to do bad things. And there's always going to be that. And, and you don't think that happens here in the United States? Happens here too. Happens in lots of different places. So, you know, you just have to be, understand that, understand the media is going to try and make a big deal of it as long as they can because that's what the media does. They have to sell papers. But he did as well um, concerning do-it-yourself sites. Um, so stay away from the apps and those things um, unless you do it very, very safely somehow. Um, all right? All right, guys. You too can experience the romantic adventure of a lifetime. Join men from all over the world as they take a trip and find their future brides. Interested? Learn more at cali-women.com.